Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Lori Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. The Ithaca police officer who was shot late Thursday night is still recovering in an upstate New York hospital. Officer Anthony Augustine suffered a minor stroke after Jamel Booker allegedly shot him. That was near Elmcrest Circle in Ithaca. WENY TV's Walter Smith Randolph joins us in the studio this morning with the latest on the officer's condition. Walter, is Officer Augustine expected to make a full recovery? Good morning, Laura. A media partner of the Star Gazette reports Officer Augustine's left arm and hand are not fully functioning. The movement of his arm and hand is tentative, and he may not regain his full mobility. This all because Officer Augustine suffered a, major, a minor stroke excuse me, sometime after the shooting. He also suffered a collapsed lung and has a chest tube in place. Officer Augustine was in intensive care Sunday night. The name of the hospital is being withheld for privacy. Ithaca police officers have kept a constant vigil outside the hospital room in support of Augustine. Small enough department where it's like a small family. We know each other's husbands, wives, kids, and so on. So when one of our own takes a shot, takes a bullet, we come out of the woodwork to support and help that officer. Officer Augustine was allegedly shot by 22-year-old Jamel Booker of Ithaca. He remains behind bars this morning on felony charges of aggravated assault of a police officer and first-degree criminal use of a firearm. Reporting in the studio, Walter Smith, Randolph, WNY TV News. Laura? To regional news, Syracuse University's annual preseason basketball rally turned sour after a 25-year-old man was stabbed. Investigators say 25-year-old Shaquin Benton was stabbed around 9.30 Friday night in the concourse area. Thousands of people were at the dome for the school's annual Orange Madness. The victim, who police say is not cooperating with their investigation, was taken to the hospital for treatment in stable condition. Police say he is expected to survive. The victim and suspect are not affiliated in any way with the school. That's according to police. And new this morning, New York senior senator is warning senior citizens of a new scam on Social Security. Senator Charles Schumer says scammers are stealing thousands of senior citizens' Social Security payments, often with just one phone call. As of August, the senator says there have been more than 19,000 reports of attempted identify thefts, identity thefts. That's about 50 each day. The payments are directly deposited into private accounts. Scammers divert payments by obtaining account information, then making a phone call to reroute the money to their own accounts. Seniors need their social security in many cases to survive. To have a scammer take it away from you for several months is, for some seniors, a question even of life and death. The New York Democrat is urging the Federal Social Security Administration to take safety measures to curb the fraud. And now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast for the day. John. All right, thanks, Laura. Well, we're looking at a decent day. Some showers possible early on today, but then we're looking at some drier times for your afternoon. We have a mild week ahead, too. Mild out there for your morning today. Mild pretty much all week, aside from tomorrow, which is the coolest day. We have a few showers in the forecast today, and then some more showers likely as we head in towards the end of this week. Now, I had some great fall colors to preview over the weekend. We're basically in peak form. I took this shot myself up at Bristol Mountain. Now, if you have any photos to share with us, please do so. You can share them with us at weather at weny.com or just post them to our Facebook fan page. We'll try to get an album put together here and show off all the awesome fall colors that you've shared with us. Uh, here's a look to your future track forecast for today. A couple of showers possible out there early on, but as we go in towards your afternoon, we should see some clearing in the sky. We'll go for a Partly sunny sky for today. Temperatures nice and warm all day long, despite the fact that we have that cold front coming through today. We'll wait on this trailing trough of low pressure for tonight that's likely to cool us off and give us the chance for a couple of more showers. You wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures right around 40 degrees or so, and then they'll stay in the mid-50s for highs tomorrow, even though we'll see some sunshine as we head in towards your afternoon. Wednesday, it's back to the warmth, talking about partial sunshine and temperatures up into the mid and upper 60s. Interactive Sky Tracker seven-day forecast. Keep it warm for Thursday and then start to cool it off and become a bit unsettled as we head in towards your weekend. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thank you, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY TV News at 536 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.